Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Tony here, Adult Gero Primary Care Nurse Practitioner. And today I wanted to discuss the different types of malpractice insurance there are. So here we go. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. So today, the topic of malpractice insurance. Now, I know when I was in nursing school, it was a requirement for us to have malpractice insurance as nursing students. And so I just got into the habit after graduation, became a registered nurse, practicing. I always had my own malpractice insurance. And there are nurses out there who say, oh, well, my employer provides malpractice insurance. It was always recommended to me by established and experienced nurses to just hold your own malpractice insurance because your employer is not going to necessarily look out for you. They're out for self. So therefore, you as an RN have to be out for self and you as an NP have to look out for self. So with that being said, let's go into it. The first type of insurance I'm going to talk about, now we're talking about nurse practitioner insurance, all right, not RN experience. But I just said that in the beginning to let you know how I feel about having your own malpractice insurance. The first type I want to discuss is called claims-based insurance. This is the type of insurance that most employers will offer to their nurse practitioners upon employment. Um, this type of insurance, you are covered as long as you have insurance at the time the claim is filed. Let me give an example. You work for employer A from January 1, 2019 to December 31st, 2019. You move on to employer B sometime in 2020 okay somebody you saw in 2019 files a claim in june 2020 you had insurance while you were at the employer because the employer gave you insurance but since you're no longer at the employer you no longer have that insurance policy so therefore in june 2020 the claim is filed guess what you're not covered because you didn't have insurance policy and insurance policy at the time the claim was filed that brings me to a sub set of claims based insurance is called as point 1a something called tail coverage tail coverage is what you should have asked your employer for when you left them December 31st 2019 because tail coverage will cover you whenever the claim is filed all right tail coverage tends to be very expensive and that's something that's usually negotiated with the employer at the time you um, start working for them all right claims based insurance tends to be cheaper than the next type of insurance that I'm about to talk about and that type is occurrence-based insurance. Occurrence-based insurance is more expensive than claims-based insurance but let me give an example of why it tends to be better at least in my opinion. Same scenario you work for employer A from January 1 to December 31st of 2019. They cover you for their policy like I said 99% of the time they're paying for claims based insurance because it's cheaper but you being the good NP that you are you get your own malpractice insurance and occurrence based policy so fast forward it's June 2020 that patient filed a claim saying you didn't do this that the other well are you covered I don't have that that policy that my employer has anymore because you know I no longer work for them but because you had the occurrence you could have lapsed you know the left the job so you no longer have the claims based policy you could have decided i'm not going to pay my occurrence based policy as of december 31st even if you have no insurance as of june 2020 you had a policy in place at the time the occurrence occurred all right hence the name occurrence based as long as you had insurance at the time the occurrence occurred you're covered even though you don't have insurance in june 2020 when the claim was filed so let me just run through it one more time claims based is covered you're, you're covered as long as you have insurance at the time the claim was filed occurrence base is you're covered as long as you had insurance at the time the occurrence occurred all right or the time of occurrence all right I hope that makes things a little bit clear and like I said if you have claims based by your employer talk about it when you get employed make sure you know whether or not they're gonna pay for tail coverage because that gets expensive and if you have it if you're not going to get 
occurrence-based policy, you're going to need tail coverage when you leave that employer. All right. So your best bet is just carry your own occurrence-based policy. Even if your employer is offering you, you know, malpractice, like I said, 99% of the time is going to be claims-based. And unless they pay for tail, you have to pay for tail when you leave. Or if you have occurrence-based, you're covered. And you leave that job and decide, I'm not paying my occurrence-based policy anymore. You're still covered because it's an occurrence-based policy. All right. Um, I hope this answers a few questions. I'm going to link um, the YouTube channel for Carolyn Bupert. She's a former NP turned lawyer and she helps NPs in all kinds of legal issues, contract negotiation. She wrote one of my textbooks that I used in NP school. So she's highly, highly knowledgeable in these things. I'm going to leave a link to a video she did on this exact topic and check out her channel. She gives a lot of information on there. All right. Love you. Take care. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Keep your distance. All right. Stay home if you can. Thank you. God bless. Bye.